join my business is because it was not all about me. And what I want you guys to understand is that three-way calls are not just important, they're not just effective, they are absolutely critical to your success in the network marketing business. So when we talk about three-way calls, there's three main reasons why you would want to use a three-way call. Number one is for recruiting a brand new prospect. Number two is for welcoming a brand new recruit to your team and helping them get started off the right way in their business. And number three, it's for promoting for your existing representatives, your existing distributors, to go do something, to attend a conference call, to attend a conference or an event, what have you. But the name of the game is that three-way calls allow you to have influence with other people. See, right now you don't have credibility and influence with your prospects and oftentimes with your team. But if you can learn how to edify and put it on a third-party person, the influence can be handed off to somebody else that you don't have. You don't really have it to hand off, but you can actually create it for a third party, and that third party can help you get the result that you're looking for. So let me share with you exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about bridging the credibility or the influence gap that is, exists between you and the other party. So here's what, basically the way it works. This is you, okay? You've got a group of prospects, for example. These prospects, they trust you. They're your friends, your neighbors, your relatives, your coworkers. They trust you. They probably even love you, but they don't respect your business opinion about this new business you want to share with them. But you have an expert out here. It's your upline, your sponsor, somebody who's there, your mentor in the business. See, what you need to do is understand that you have trust with your prospects, but you don't have respect. But if you can edify a third-party expert, meaning you build up the credibility in another person, you talk very well of them, and I basically tell people you want to make that person seem like they walk on water and they glow in the dark. So basically, you edify a third-party expert in the eyes of your prospects, which now bridges this gap of the lack of respect that was there between you and your prospects. You're giving it to the expert. So now they have respect for the expert's opinion, what they're going to share with them, which gives them the credibility and the influence that's needed to get that prospect to see the light and to make a decision to get your service, your product, or to join your team. So, your job is to do nothing more than to pique the interest of a prospect, to point to a third-party expert and edify that person. And what's going to happen, what we do, you know, this can be done in person, or it can be like a two-on-one, where it's you, your prospect, and your expert, or it can be a three-way call. We do three-way calls all day long. I mean, that's how I built my business. Okay, so here's the name of the game. You could be a 21-year-old college student. Your prospect could be a 60-year-old business owner. How is a 21-year-old going to recruit a 60-year-old? A Probably not going to happen. But if the 21-year-old edifies Mr. or Ms. So-and-so as the expert in this, in this given business, really makes them understand. And by the way, here's how you do a, a proper edification. Okay? John is your prospect, okay? and Mr. Smith is the upline. You say, hey, John, hey, look, I want you to get some insight on this business from Mr. Smith, who happens to be not, not only leading the national expansion for this company, knows all the facts about the business, knows how the big money is being made. He's also very, very down to earth and loves to help people, and he's a lot of fun to work with, so I know you'll relate to him very, very much because you guys, you remind me of, of, of him. Let me see if I can just get a few minutes of his time so he can share with you a couple minutes of insights about this business for you. Hold on one second. You hit the flash button, you dial up Mr. Smith. Hey, Mr. Smith, hey, it's Brian. Hey, I've got John on the other line on hold. He's got a chance to check out the web web webinar, or he came out to a meeting, or he listened to the conference call, whatever. Um, he likes what he's heard. Here's what he liked the most, and I just want to connect you all. Are you available for a three-way call? All right, great. Hold on one second. Flash. Hey, John, we are very, very lucky. We got Mr. Smith just for a couple quick minutes of his time. He's very, very busy, like I share with you. Mr. Smith, this is John. And Mr. Smith is going to basically, the upline expert, is going to simply say, Hey, John, great to meet you. Brian said, Brian said some very nice things about you. I'd like to be able to uh, share with you some insights on the business a little bit. Let me share with you my story. It does a 30-second story about background with X. 
here's what's happened with, with me with, with this company. And uh, basically what they're going to do is they're going to share their story. They're going to basically, uh, if there's any questions, they're going to get them answered. But, the, but here's the name of the game. The expert's going to not only share their story, they're going to say, hey, John, what did you like most about what you heard or saw during the presentation? And whatever John says, the expert is going to basically mirror match and say, hey, look, I know exactly how you feel. I felt the same way when I saw that information, and here's what I found. It's going to elaborate it. It's going to basically anchor that in that prospect's mind, basically say, hey, are you ready to get started with this today? And then John's going to much, much more likely say to the expert, yes, I'm ready to get started. Or if there's any objections, the expert is trained and able to handle the objection to get them to be uh, basically comfortable with the answer and say, hey, look, okay, I'm ready to go. And what's going to happen is the expert is going to basically get your prospect committed and get the decision to sign up, get them back to your website or get back to you to sign the person up on the spot. you got to strike while the iron's hot. It's not do a three-way call and then sign them up tomorrow. It's do it right then. And then that expert is going to edify you back. Now, you don't have as much ability to be edified because you're not probably a superstar in the business yet. But Mr. Smith's going to say, hey, well, just want to let you know, Brian. Uh, or, or John, that, that Brian is a, a great asset to our company. He's doing a great job already. And anybody that he introduces to our team, I take a personal interest in working with. And I look forward to helping you. Uh, together, the three of us can go out and make a very significant uh, business uh, uh, opportunity here for you. And so that's basically what you're going to do with a three-way call. And now, I want everybody to understand well, what you're after in this, in this whole process it's not about you personally being a superstar. It's not about you having talent or a special ability or being a show-off or being the best, of, uh, best person in the company. The whole name of the game of what we're talking about here is you're after duplication. Not talent, duplication. You want a, a dud to be able to recruit a stud. A 20-year-old to be able to recruit a 50-year-old. Somebody who's making $20,000 a year who can recruit somebody who's making $20,000 a month. That can only happen when third parties brought in when you bridge the gap of respect that's not there, when you bridge it with a three-way call, magic will happen for you. And I can tell you, leaders, the leaders, let me talk to you. I can tell you that your business will start to explode when you take this thing and make it go, go from person-dependent or people-dependent to system-dependent. You want to be a system-dependent organization. Okay? The name of the game is get the number of three-way calls in your organization to go up. The more three-way calls the more your income is going to go up. Because three-way calls drives your recruiting, which drives future sales, which drives your income. So if your income is, is stagnant, it means you're not doing enough three-way calls. Three-way calls go up, your income will always follow. So I would actually, we, we call them KPIs, Key Performance Indicators. These are the key fundamental activities for building your business in network marketing that you need to be paying attention to. And one of those is the number of three-way calls in and out. How many calls are you taking in from your downline doing their three-way calls to close their prospects for them? That's one gauge or one indicator. And the second indicator is how many three-way calls are you putting out to your upline because hopefully you're still in recruitment mode. You're still trying to personally bring people on board yourself. Use your upline for three-way calls. Get your downline using you for three-way calls. And I'm telling you, I watched it happen. My recruiting went from 500 recruits a month to 1,000 a month to 1,500, to 2,000, to 3,000, to 4,000, to well over 5,000 recruits a month joining my business in network marketing because we are all focused on using each other for three-way calls. I hope this helps you. I hope you understand how important this is. And if you do not do three-way calls, you can have temporary success, but long-term, it just won't perpetuate. It won't work. It will not duplicate. You've got to use three-way calls. Good luck, happy recruiting, and build your fortune in network marketing.